Hello, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Melissa Thwanes, but you can call me Mel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you my plants that I have here on the main floor in my home. So this will be a fall 2021 houseplant tour update. The last time I did a houseplant tour was actually at the beginning of this year. So it will be cool to see how much my plants have grown throughout the growing season, what plants I still have, what plants I've added to my collection or sold or gave away so that will be interesting to compare if you haven't watched my video from earlier this year I'll link it in the description that way you can actually compare how quickly my plants have grown give this video a thumbs up if you do like it next week I'm actually going to do a part two which will be for my plant room upstairs because I don't want to make this video too long <laughs> so hopefully you stick around for today's video and then next week I will share with you my plant room room and then some other plants that I have upstairs. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little tour. So first, of course, I'll show you my Monstera Deliciosa that was right behind me. She's looking beautiful. Uh, she's also definitely grown quite a lot since I've had her. I think it's been over a year now and when I got her, she was a two leaf cutting. So look at how big she's become. Definitely a gorgeous plant. She had to go through thrips uh, not too long ago. I've had to treat it, which is why I did a video on it, if you want to check it out. But yes, she's definitely the start of the show in this room. Here behind my monster, I have a variegated peace lily. I think it's the domino. Definitely has grown a lot. Even the new leaves are nice and big. I have to repot her for sure. Here is a Hoya Crimson Queen. Here I have my Oxalis, which is actually two varieties in one. Here is a little snake plant propagation that was successful. I have a few succulents and here is my Bird of Paradise, which definitely has grown since I've had her since last year. Look at that. Sorry about the lighting, but here's a new leaf right there. Beautiful. Here is a Birkin. This one actually has two in one, which is really nice, nice and full. The plant definitely loves a lot of light. I'll give you a close up. So here's a close up of some of the leaves. How beautiful is that? Definitely a plant that's been happy in my home and I'm so glad that I've been able to keep the variegation for this long. Here is my shingle plant, also known as the Raphidophora Heidi, Heidi, I forget how to pronounce it, but it's definitely grown a lot and I have to repot it, stake it, but for now she's just doing her thing. <laughs> definitely a full plant. Here I have my massive metal head. I've done a few videos with this plant, like repotting it and everything. So the leaves have definitely continued to upsize, like though that middle one is the newest leaf, looking gorgeous. The foliage is just so dark. I love having it here in the corner and it just takes up the corner here, which I'm okay with but it's another one of my bigger plants. And here in the middle of the room, I have a coffee table and on the table I have a spider plant, which is doing really well here. I think it likes the light that comes from that window. It hasn't died on me, it hasn't browned, so it's actually doing really well here and I haven't moved it since. This is a golden pothos, which is also thriving. If you saw my other houseplant tour earlier this year, I had this one on the fridge, but it just wasn't doing well, and it definitely has grown a lot faster now that it has more light. So yeah, nice little plant decor here on the coffee table. This is another one of my alocasia plants. This is the alocasia odora, and you can see this is the newest leaf. It hasn't hardened yet and the size is definitely a lot bigger than what it was maybe a year ago. So this plant's doing really well. I do have it in the middle of the room here in front of the window just for the winter because it does need more light. I did have it in the corner in the other plant tour, but I do have five leaves still. It did get root rot, but I think I caught it in time because right after I cleaned it up, 
and gave it new soil, it pushed out this leaf. So I was able to save it. Here is another plant that you would have seen on my fridge in the other plant tour. And definitely it's grown since. It's a mixture, I think of like Snow Queen or Marble Queen and then also some Golden Pothos that's turned into Jade. So I just love the mixture of foliage and it's doing really well considering it's not getting any direct light or any really light in general besides maybe that light bulb over there and then this window over here just a bit. But yeah, I'm debating on whether or not I should cut it, but it's looking very nice on this ladder. Here on my dining room table, don't mind the tablecloth that was used for Thanksgiving and I just haven't taken it off. I have a bunch of plants on here that I'm actually selling, but there's a couple that I am keeping, so I obviously want to document them as well in this video. Here are two plants that I actually just bought. This is the Syndapsis Silver Splash that I'm adding to my collection. I bought it from a local friend. Here's a smaller cutting. And here is Hawaiian Pothos. Look at that variegation, very high variegation. And I'm actually excited to have these two because I may cut this one and propagate it or I may stake them both on wood and see how big the leaves can get. So yeah, those ones I'm keeping. These cuttings, I have a bunch of Syndapsis Exotica cuttings that I am giving away and selling for a very low price. Here in the middle of the table, I just have a propagation, actually two propagations of Monstera that I traded with a local friend as well. And it's still in water. This is the newest leaf here. So I like it because it's almost like a nice centerpiece, a little bit of greenery on the table. And unfortunately, the other plants I have up for sale, I won't be keeping. So that is my Ficus Elastica Burgundy. And this is a Ficus Audrey. That is a Raven ZZ that I'm also selling. I've sold a couple of pieces already. And then some Alocasia and a Syngonium. So these are the ones that won't be staying. Now I'm gonna show you the four plants that I have on this wall opening. And I do have a ring light on the other side of this wall, so hopefully it's enough light because I am losing some daylight. Here you have my Aglionema Silver Bay. There's three plants in one and the leaves are definitely upsizing very quickly. I like how it opens up. You can still see the patterned foliage and it's just doing really well here. I may move it just in case, but so far so good. And then beside it, I have this, I think it's an Aglionema Maria. I love the patterns as well here and it fits nicely in these openings. It's definitely getting very bushy compared to the other house plant tour video that you may have seen. So definitely a nice full plant. And then if we continue, here is my Peperomia obtusifolia. I think it's Variegata, but it's definitely pushing out so much growth and it's doing really well just with this light bulb um, over it. It has so many different patterns and variegation on each leaf, which I love. And it's definitely a lot taller and bushier than the last video. I am holding it with some twine because it tends to tilt over a bit because it's just so tall. And then lastly, here we have a newer plant as well. It's my Homolomina selby. And I love the foliage. The leaves are definitely getting big. It's like a matte, thick textured leaf, which I love. And it fits really well, again, in these little baskets that I have the plants in. And I'll see how it does. Maybe it needs more light, but so far it's doing well with this light bulb. Next, I have my money tree that I have on this side table. It's doing really well. It gets light from this window and it's still hanging in there. Such an easy care plant. It's actually one of the first plants that my fiance picked out. 
and it definitely uh, makes a statement here in this room. It brings a little bit of luck, hopefully, and prosperity. So yeah, I definitely have to actually pot it up into a pot. It's still in a grow pot, but I'm not gonna play with it as long as it's still doing well. Next on this coffee table, we have a snake plant moonshine, and I love how it looks on this tray. It's such a great plant decor piece, super easy. You just pop it into a cover pot and yeah, just put it right on top of a coffee table and it's a nice little decorative piece. Next on the fireplace mantle, I have a snake plant on this side of the mantle. I forget what kind it is, but it's the one that has the pattern in the outside of the leaf and then it has the solid green in the middle. Such a nice deep green and in the terracotta pot, I love how it looks like on the mantle. And on this side, I have a Brazil philodendron that's just cascading on the side of the fireplace, which is definitely getting long. It also helps to cover the wiring, which is awesome. And then I have a taller snake plant all the way up, almost the size of the TV. And this is like a, I think 65 inch. So just to kind of reference, how long that Sansevieria plant is, or snake plant. And it's in a tin can, a little bit of a rustic touch. So yeah, it really balances out the fireplace. Sorry about the light. <laughs> Here is the last plant that I have to show you that's in this room. It is my Philodendron cordatum, and as you see, it's just cascading beside this bookshelf. I love how it just gives it a touch of green. It softens up the corners, and it's definitely grown quite a bit. Most of this growth is new uh, this year, so you may be able to compare it to the other video. Now, in my main floor bathroom, I did put my snake plant, which is huge, but I think it looks good in here. It gives it a little bit of a jungle vibe. It's very full. And if you remember in my last video, I had this on top of the vinyl shelving, but I don't know, I wanted it here because I know it doesn't need that much light. And also I needed a plant here because I did move the other snake plant to the other side of the TV because it used to be here. So yeah, I think it looks good. It helps give it a little bit of a planty touch. So I've decided to add these plants that I have up in the upstairs bathroom into this video because I feel like my plant room tour video is gonna be a lot longer. <laughs> so here's a couple more plants from upstairs. I have three orchids in this hanging planter decor piece, which I love. I did do a video on it and I love how it's modern, very minimal, and it just lets the color of the plants stand out. You can see that these orchids are definitely full of blooms. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that there is a couple of other blooms coming out, which is awesome. These plants are actually liking me. I did kill a couple in my past, but I think these are gonna enjoy being here. And I got them for my birthday, so I've had them since August. And yeah, so here they are. So the last plant that I'm gonna be showing you in this video is this bamboo plant that my mom gave me for my birthday and it's in a little elephant vase, which I think is super cute. But yeah, just a little touch in the kitchen of green and it's just on this three tier tray holder. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my house plant tour 2021 fall edition. Give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and hopefully you stick around and check out next week's video where I show you my plants that are upstairs in my plant room and in some other rooms in the home. I am so happy with my collection. They've been doing so well. And I think I got a hang of how to take care of my plants in the winter as well. So we'll see what my collection looks like next year. So take care and I will see you soon.